Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity 2. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in... Uh, it's not Queen's Birth, what do they call it? Serpent's Crown, that's right, this is where the main palace is. What is it called? The Kahanga Palace. We need to go over there. We also need to go to the Kano's Estate, because it's right here and uh, we haven't been there. And we also need to level up, because last episode we have um, completed a few quests, and we have met some new characters... Very, very interesting characters, and we have heard the best acted psh, sound ever. I didn't act it as well as that, uh, or as, as well as he did. So, let's see, we have Diplomacy over here. Uh, I probably want to go that. Bluff is not really going up that well. I kind of want Diplomacy more, so I'll go with that over there. Uh, and then up here, we have some Arcana, Arcana, whatever that is, and I'll go with that, because I do want to be able to use spells. And then we have abilities. Now, we have unlocked this, I think, this level. Yes, we are now level 7. Which means... Oh, I can all... Maybe I have one for each. New power level. Choose abilities for both classes. Yeah, but I can't get the chanter. Yeah, we'll probably get one for each. Okay, so... Uh, because it's a new power level, that makes sense. Sh what? Requires that? Why? W what, what is that one all about? Reduces armor rating of enemies in the area of effect. It is... Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the... Uh, um, I'm sorry, this is a chanter. So these are the things you use to spend your uh, your chanting power. So we have this one, which is the one that we had at the beginning. We have this one, which is for paralysis that actually lasts a decent amount. This one reduces armor rating for a fair amount, but I don't really care for that. Oh, it's only two points. It's not that great. It's good, but it's not that great. We need summons. We might go with summons. Summons are always nice. They can really fill in some of the things, uh, some of the open um, things, uh, open flanks of our team. Uh, this is four AOE and a four target. That's decent. Thrice was she wronged and thrice justly avenged. Hmm. Uh, let's. Oh, that's that, isn't it? Yes. I can press escape. I can indeed. Okay, so that's pretty good. And no, we can't get those because those are up there. Okay, so let's see what these are. Full way we frightened. That's accuracy versus will. That's not too bad. Frightened only really lowers some of the um, some of the stats. Summons two will o wisps and uh, friendly target health is, is restored. That's actually not too bad. Immune to resolve afflictions for two uh, for twenty seconds. Uh, that because that's shaken, frightened, terrified. Uh, that's just different uh, resolves. Afflictions. That's nice, but I don't think that le that uh, scales, so I'm not going to go with that. Let's see what else we have over here. Uh, and besides, we seem to have over here some of these things. What about this one? Four target, minus 20% accuracy with disengagement attacks. Don't need that. Wait a minute. The fox from the farmer did run in leap. How is that four target? It's an area of effect. That's an interesting thing. 20% accuracy loss is pretty powerful. Uh, friendly aura, reload time, and recovery with ranged weapons. That's really cool, actually. Uh, self, some reflex. Uh, combat only, gain concentration at the start of each combat. I kind of want that. Uh, I'll go with that. And then, of course, we have druid abilities, which is fantastic. Uh, but we already have this from... Do we gain that automatically? Or is that... Oh, that is the... Okay, those are shared. Okay, good. It's not a problem. We do have some things up here that I could go with. But, um... But I don't think I do. I... Let's see. What is that that I'm missing? Purge toxins and nature bomb. Now, this thing is the best thing. It's not full AoE anymore. Seriously, they caught up. They caught it. Cut, just caught up to me. This is so powerful in the first game. It's so, so powerful because it's a full AoE. It has just... It's amazing. It's an amazing ability. Uh, but now it's not anymore. I think this is much better. Because it does damage. It does uh, deflection. Minus deflection, minus reflex. That's also pretty awesome. It's much better than in the first game. The much, in the first game, it, it does a lot of damage. Uh, but it doesn't have the debuffs. Spreading Plague that's hobbled and weakened. Uh, jumps to... It's basically six targets. Uh, ten meters. That's pretty amazing. Uh, these are also pretty awesome. Yeah, infestation of maggots are very are very good in the first game, but in this game, it is different. It works differently. 
So enemies in the area of effect have their skin infested by hordes of burrowing maggots, inflicting raw damage over time. The more wounded the target, the greater the damage. No, no. No, it's still the same. A target at maximum health takes no damage from the spell. 10... Why? How does that... How do you calculate that, then? 10 raw damage per 3 seconds for 20 seconds. So that is roughly 60, 55, 60 raw damage at maximum. But of course it takes a bunch of time. I like that. That's very good for, for people that are almost dead. Um, I'll go with that. Uh, but do I need anything over here? Wood skin. Friendly AoE. That's much more important. That is much more important. I'll go with that. And we gain... Um, that's that, really. Yeah. I'm glad. That was good. Next up. Adair. How's it going, man? We got survival down here. His survival level is pretty decent. Intimidate. I kind of want that. I kind of want this as well. Let's just focus on that. Uh, and athletics are pretty decent. But uh, I mean, it's the only thing I want him for at the, uh, in those skills. And then he only has a single uh, class. Uh, he's gonna get Virtuous Defense. Is that passive? Combat only, instant noise quiet. No, that's a special, that's a stat. That's a stance. Let's see what stance he has. Because hmm? he already has Defender stance. But it might not be. I'm not really sure. So, Discipline Barrage requires two Discipline. No, it costs Discipline. Hmm, all defenses in concentration for 15 seconds. I like that. Charge, four target stun. That's pretty awesome, actually. I like that a lot as well. The charge there will work for our tank, of course. Into the fray, he doesn't have that. Um, that's also pretty good. Do I want charge? The fighter dashes across the battlefield in a flash, stunning anyone caught in their path. This one is different. But it does do damage, so that one is better. Uh, I don't know what I want. No, this is a pull, right? The fighter lunges through the battle, pulling an enemy into immediate melee range, Causing crush damage and leaving them dazed. Yeah, that one is pretty awesome. I'll, I'll probably go with that. What do I have over here? What else? Uh, resolve. Wait a minute. Resistances, resistance to resolve afflictions. But it's just, it doesn't say how much. Uh, but still, resolve afflictions are pretty important. Or it's important for him. But I think we'll have helmets and stuff like that to sort of prevent stuff from that. Mind afflictions, though. Hmm. Quick switch. Don't need that. Might afflict. Yeah. I'll go with body control over here. And I'll go with a f into the fray. The reason why I'm not doing this is because the charge is good for fighters that are mobile. He wants to. Yeah, I want him to be as close to us as possible. And also, that unlocks other things over here. So that's also really nice. I didn't look at that. Uh, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. And I'll also look. Uh, so yeah, we got in that ability. That's two abilities. That's nice. It's really good. Yeah, and he's got leap already. That's the one I thought he had. I know, I know. You guys leveled up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Streetwise, probably. Mechanics. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, and then oh, I need to check if he's not wearing the mechanics. I think he's wearing the mechanics uh, item. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Uh, so he gains one point in each. Okay, so he gains that. What do we have over here? Wild Spirit. Uh, nimble for six seconds immune to engagement. That's actually pretty awesome. What about these ones? Barbaric Blow. Uh, target full attack. The Barbarian deals a massive blow, increasing the likeliness of damage critical hits. He has this already. AoE Shaken. I want him to be a more passive build, I think. Plus one enemy is required to be flanked. One stands alone. It does add melee damage. Really? Man, that is powerful. 
Okay. Concentration, will. 20% of hits converted to crits. With weapons against... Uh, yeah, that's nice. Against enemies that are almost dead. Self per kill. 20% action speed. Uh, percent action speed on kill. I think that that's right out of... Uh, uh, out of tyranny, because I think there's one there. No, maybe there is one of these in, in the first game. Attacks against wilders. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to go with that. Shaken. That's a cone. I will go with the barbaric blow. What about these things? Lion Sprint. Ram Sprint. That's really nice. Actually, that's better. I think I think I like that better. And we'll worry about uh, using those skills later. And of course, here he's got his Cypher skills. Penetrate. That's why I don't. I want him to be a more uh, sort of uh, passive fighter. I think that's better. But well, we'll see. Fractured Volition. What do I want? Secret Horrors are amazing. That's for we sets them frightened and sickened. That's ac that actually lasts for a little while, and uh, the range is amazing. Soul ignition is always nice. Pain link. I've never been able to use this effectively, so I don't care. It sounds really neat, really good. Because basically, if you are gonna have anybody that has uh, that takes damage that you know you are is gonna take damage, you just link them up. Uh, but it's just that it's so peaky the level, or tends to be peaky with me, that uh, I I don't know. I, I think that's not necessarily what I where I want to go. Uh, we got a foe beam over here. Fractured Volition sets hobbled and weakened for a bunch of time. Um, that's full target, though, so I'm not really too... Oh, it's target dominated, though. No, this is amazing. Yeah, that's 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 what I want. That's basically how that goes. Uh, yeah, that, that, that one is pretty powerful. A shame that I don't get the yeah. bonuses. Actually, let me see what your perception is. 13, that's not very good. I mean, it's better than nothing, but it's not very good. Basically, the bonuses, I think they simplified that on purpose, because you do had to account for uh, bonuses to accuracy uh, on specific spells, and debuffs to, to accuracy on specific spells. It usually would be accuracy plus 10 versus will, for example, like that puppet master. Uh, but now it's just accuracy versus will, and you only need to worry about the resistance of each character, which makes it a little bit easier to understand. I th I, I'm okay with that. I honestly... Honestly, what I would like is sort of different ways of uh, a way to sort of customize each skill. Um, I am I'm a big fan of that. Just sort of like let, I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. So she doesn't. I don't think she needs religion all that much. History. We're not very good at this, are we? I mean, I could guess. I guess I could go with diplomacy. Let's go with that. So if we're gonna need to convince kings and queens, uh, let's go with that and let's get some arcane over there. Okay. So my idea, my, my thing is, let's say we take Shining Beacon over here. Foe AoE, minus 10 to all defenses, uh, 16 burn damage per 3 seconds. Uh, so what if you, like, this is the base optimal setup. What if you wanted to do more damage? And you could just double this damage, but instead of being 3, three seconds, it would be a single time uh, thing. Because, like, it's per 3 seconds, but it attacks 3 times. Uh, so you do all the damage in a single one. What if you could do that? Or uh, minus 10 to all defenses. What if you could focus everything on that? That's what Tyranny did, and it did very, very well. Uh, but of course, he did it with a system that would be completely in in uncomfortable with this system, for sure, because the, the spell system is completely different. But I guess customization wouldn't be too hard. Just you'd need to allow your player to sort of look at this spell and say, I really like this, Shining Beacon, uh... I mean, it's a really good spell, actually. <laughs> now that I that I look at it and get reminded, this is a pretty awesome spell for um, any priest that's in the middle of battle, because uh, it doesn't have a, a lot of range. But that's like another thing; you could maybe focus on the range. Yeah, I think they could take the design option, the design goals of Tyranny in in its this, in its spell system and work it into this, just like that. You know, sort of have like a power level, just allow you to customize these things. That that'd be interesting. I'm not sure it can be modded into the game. And I guess if it could, it would make for very powerful builds. But, of course, it would increase the amount of meta game that you get. Uh, Consecrated Ground, which is not necessarily a problem. Consecrated Ground is one that I like to use. It's on the same levels as this. Oh, Triumph of the Crusaders. No, oh, no, that sucks. Friendly AoE for strong. Oh, no, that doesn't suck. That's pretty good. In the first game, it doesn't add might, as far as I remember. Uh, so I kind of like that. This one I like a lot. It doesn't have 
a lot of radius. But it's really good. Because it adds accuracy. I like that. Uh, Divine Terror sets Frightened. What about over here? Penetration on fire attacks. Penetration on electricity attacks. In the case of this is just specific things. Litany of the Body sets Hardy. That's Constitution. And Armor Rating. On a target, though. Well, that, that wouldn't be too bad, actually. That's... That's a pretty decent buff. We don't have the warding spells, do we, anymore? The the ones that make you immune to specific things. That's what they did. I I wonder, like these these may used to make you immune, or these icons anyway, to specific things, and they don't anymore. I'll go with Constitution. Constitution attacks are terrible. They're really nasty. But it's on a single target, which is also interesting. I'm trying to think... That's two nice buffs. I'll go with the nice buffs. Um, but yeah, it's... I'm I, Like, if they made it impossible to be immune to specific attacks, I think what they wanted to do is just sort of eliminate what happens in Pillars of Eternity 1, which is just you having to know what spells to use. Uh, and having the uh, having a priest is very important. In the first game, it's like, if you don't have a priest, you're pretty much screwed. You're not, but it's, it's very hard. You need to use uh, cer certain spells, for sure. Get that arcana up. Uh, inside and metaphysics... Insight is very bad. History... Let's go with insight over here. Or maybe history. Or maybe diplomacy. Let's go with diplomacy. Yeah. We're good. And you're a wizard. A specialized wizard. Can't wait until I reach maximum. Uh, what do I have? Uh, Minolet's concussive missiles. Actually, none of these matter. I need to focus on these. Screw that noise. I mean, not really, because they are nice, because you can always cast them. But let's see what we have. Uh, penetration on all the things. So what kind of spells do I like using the best? Um, not really damage spells. That's not really where the wizard excels. I mean, I get, you can make a wizard that's very good at that. Um, but I don't think it is necessarily the best thing. And this is a weird skill set for the wizard. Because... And it just adds penetration, which is for critical chances and all that sort of stuff. Well, let's look at what we have. Uh, armor rating for self. Steals a level uh, 3 or a lower spell. That's interesting. Writhing tentacle summons them. Okay. Uh, a wall of flame. Esse it's a duplicate. Essential phantom. Creates a ghostly double of the caster that copies the caster's weapon and appearance. That's nice. It doesn't let you cast... Uh, it doesn't let you use the caster, though. That's what that is. Uh, advanced version of Essential Phantom, creating an independent copy of the wizard that can cast a, a small set of low-level spells. Yeah, that, that one is pretty powerful. I'm not going to go with this up here. 100% chance to reflect against spells for 60%. But I guess it doesn't... For a total of 15 spell levels. Well, that's nice. That's actually pretty awesome. I'll go with that. Stunned. Faux Beam. Oh, what is that? That's also interesting. What is this one? Confusion. Sets confusion for 30 seconds. On full way of Wii? That is amazing. Freeze shield. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. He's not going to be a, a damage dealer anyway. I'm, I mean, he does get some pretty awesome damaging spells. Uh, if I want to, but I'll have specific, of uh, specific grimoires for that. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, very interesting to come to grips with the system. I... I don't know. I think it has limitations and has advantages in comparison to the first game's system. All I'm gonna say is that I like the skill-based uh, approach, and it makes it immediately a better system. It has skills. That's all you need. <laughs> An older Mataru man, who Mataru are the priests, I think, yes, um, ringed by younger Juana. Um, sorry about that. You're not seeing anything, but it's, it's good. Um, ringed by... Uh, the, don't worry about that. A, apprentices or pupils, it seems. The Oh, it's just a sentence. That's a sentence. An older Mataru man stands... Oh, no, stands ringed by younger Juana. His robes shimmer with quartz, beating, 
quartz beating, and his perfume announces his presence from across the room. Yet beneath his finery, he looks like a fighter gone to seed. Disused muscles flop from his arms and flab pads him. Oh, flab. Uh, that's a thing. Flav pads him like so many layers of silk. He looks up and notices you. Greetings, and welcome to my home. He gestures to the lavish room, buffing his broad chest out a little more. For what do you come to my villa? Is he going to do this every time? What? The, he was just buffing him his chest. Takano continues greeting at you, oblivious to Alice's uh, irritation. I'm gonna read his soul, apparently. Your essence slips from your body, and Takano's soul enfolds yours like a warm, oily thing. Gross? As his fears and questions seep into you, your perspective shifts to his. At first, you worried this heart, hearth Orlan, which is one of the two types of Orlan, before you, had been sent by the Valiant Debt Collectors. It would be a low... Re oh, no, no, wait, that's us! I always get mistaken by what is going on. Yeah, he's uh, the Hearth Orlan is us. Um, I didn't immediately understand that he, this is him thinking. It would be a low trick taking advantage of your famous hospitality, but then those Valian are crafty. Perhaps if your villa were bigger, then they might know you are a man worthy of respect. At least you have the shell. You tuck it away not only for safekeeping, but also because you are a little ashamed of it. How could such a simple, ugly thing be sacred to a god? But it was a gift from the queen, and so you keep it. Your gaze strays to the wall. Yes, you must knock down that section there, install a wide, grand window once you have the money. You retreat from Takano's soul to find him watching you with a placid smile. Well, farewell. That was the weirdest of... What are they training? That was the weirdest of introductions to a character. Oh, that's a steal. Okay. Let's get you over here. Oh, let's get you all over here. It's the best. Boy, the Lord's foot. What's this? Dough? Tarlo. Actually, I didn't get it. I pressed space. And I want to get that. So, no trickery over here. It is interesting that he doesn't... Out my wheelhouse, friend. He doesn't... Uh... Talk to us too much. We just can't read his soul. Probably for a quest, maybe? Okay. He's got some uh, some rugs over here. He's got that. Oh, this is good. Done and done. Oh, hopefully. The lights. I don't be supposing we could uh, blow it up. Easy Fast. Breezy. What do we have? One of capes, some bombs, and a brigandine, and some gold. What's that? You see cracks along the surface of this battle worn or battle horn where it was carefully repaired. Slazy. Can you go back there? Oh, it's up there. My bad. A light's foot. I, I, I thought. Fat and easy breezy. Wet. I didn't see that. Slazy. I thought he was gonna just go upstairs, and it he does go upstairs. And we have a key over here. Did I get a shell? Did I get a shell? I didn't notice if I got a shell. Just mostly saw. Maybe it's over there. No, he, I, the shell is probably with him. Elementalists and stuff. Interesting. For what do you come to my villa? Apparently, I don't. Well, I need to go to the castle above everything, but uh, not to his villa. Hmm. I thought it, I, we missed it, and turns out it wasn't a big deal. We have a road east that I do want to check out because I, if this le leads us to the gullet, then great things. Because I want to see that. I want to see the old city. I want to see how that goes. And why is it nighttime? Please stop being nighttime. Hi, hi guys. Did you arrive? No, I didn't. The defiant is somebody else. Hey, Neteh. Neteh. Maybe I should talk to her about the wall thing. Can't go to the gullet or the brass citadel. Interesting. Okay, Neteh, how's it going? Thank you again. No problem. The Harappo epic is in the right hands at last. Yes, it is. Let's go into the castle. Unless it's closed. It's not closed. Although it might have different clientele because it's nighttime. I thought it was. It might have been closed because it was nighttime. Was that a disco ball of fish? These people know how to. How to. While I am flattered by the esteemed Hazanui's confidence, 
I must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight. A middle-aged woman with a square jaw and tar-stained teeth meets you. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. Meets it. The look. Meets the look. Sorry, not meets me. And she pulls a uh, slender pipe from her pocket, but at, the l uh, at a look from the queen's attendants, she puts it away. You speak as if I could command the tides. While you are casting your blame in a wide net, why not look to our Kahunga allies? We do not share their talent for shaping water. A sizable Almawa standing by the throne takes a bold step forward and flares his nostrils at the assembled dignitaries. A hush falls over the room. I say our guest forgets himself. He clears his throat and sweeps his gaze from Nero to the rest of the room. Brother, stand down. Up to this point, the queen has studied the proceedings with an even expression. She half rises from her throne as she fixates on Prince Haruhi. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. As Aruhi, 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 yeah, lowers his head, the queen slowly centers her gaze on you and leaves it there. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. Uh huh. Well, she's a watcher, I would guess, or a cipher, or a thing. Well, I guess that makes sense. I didn't expect that though. Is, what is this, Galadriel? Anyway, that's gonna be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pills of Eternity 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, a like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.